you guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, if you are returning, the setup is a little bit different today than it usually is. Not my like regular marble background, but instead, my desk and vanity. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing an awesome, constructive, and cheap DIY. I'm gonna be showing you how to take a desk that looks like this, and transform it into a vanity that looks like this. I started with a super small vanity. A little background, I was compelled to do this because I was ready for an upgrade and more storage because my makeup collection has tripled ever since I started the YouTube channel. It was actually a desk, I wish I would have taken pictures, that was bolted into the wall with a support here and could actually leaf down and turn into a shelf. And I bought that originally because our first apartment that we moved into was a lot smaller of a space than this. It was only one bedroom and so all of my makeup and everything had to be in one room and confined to one space versus now we have the second room, the film room and stuff like that. So I have more space and my makeup collection needs that space. I started my search on Ikea because I feel like that's what everybody kind of goes to for the Alex drawers. And I found the Alex drawers and I saw that people would take two and make a vanity out of it. I found a website where I could kind of design my own furniture, customize it, and then have it sent to my house in pieces so that I could put it together. Similar to Ikea, but I get to design it. The price just kept on rising. Um, it got into the thousands and that's when I decided that I needed to just do it myself. So I took a trip to Salvation Army, I found a desk for $19.99 and I transformed it into the vanity that I wanted with the handles, the color, the marble, everything so that it tied in with my beauty room, it's great for filming and it had enough storage to store all of my makeup. So if you want to see how I got this cheap DIY vanity desk for under $100, then just keep on watching. We are currently on our way to Salvation Army to pick up this desk that we bought earlier. And then we bought a ton of goodies to kind of refurbish it and revamp it into like a DIY, like bougie vanity table. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to go get it really fast. We just have to go pick it up. We are borrowing our friend's like truck slash a Tahoe. Yeah, so we're gonna go get that and then we're gonna go paint it and make it all pretty, right baby? Yeah, you are. Alrighty, so we ended up picking this desk up here from Salvation Army and it was $19.99 for the whole desk and it actually pulls out with another leaf to kind of give like an L shape and right here I already took off one of the little handles. So this is what one of the handles looked like. It's very, um, I don't know how to say it, like nicely. It's, yeah, it's old. <laughs> and um, kind of out to, out of date. So we are just going to transform this into a vanity. This is the supplies that we picked up for the desk transformation. We do have white paint too, but I don't know where it's where I'll put that. But um, we just got this marble contact paper and we'll figure out what to do with that later. We have this little paint set that has some rollers and stuff like that. We have some sandpaper because we're gonna sand it all first. And then we just picked up these like super modern chrome handles just to make it look a little bit more modern and you know cute so let's get to transforming all right so the first thing that we did was we just took it apart like this and now we're just going to take off all the handles and start sanding it
this is where we're at right now in the process. We painted everything. We did two coats. There's Lonzo. Um, so we did two coats of everything. And then the top, of, as you can see right here, is still like the wood. And so is this because this is like a little pull-out um, section that kind of turns into an L-shaped desk if I need it for more space. And then also this little part for the keyboards of a desk I left unpainted as well and it's because we're gonna use the contact paper now just to make it look like some kind of like marbly countertop just to give you a feel this is like what I did to the inside of this drawer so this drawer is painted white entirely and then um, we just added some of the contact paper to the inside and that's the look that we got going and then we also already switched up the handles so it already has like more of like a modern vibe so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick some of this all over and we're gonna see how it looks so it's past midnight now and we actually had to run out and get more marble contact paper for the top but this is kind of what she's looking like now she's not decorated yet but this is it finished it still has a little bit of drying to do because it's tacky even though it's dry to the touch but give them a little tour this little marble thingy. Yep. So that's the, like the keyboard case, but you know, it can be pulled out and have my mirror put on it. Then it's got this. We didn't end up painting the inside of this just because I didn't want it to get tacky or anything like that. So I think that I'm just going to use this little cabinet here to put um, little acrylic containers that can just slide in and out to organize some of my makeup. And then the drawer below that is a little shelving unit. Um, which we ended up painting below because up here is a shelf so I can put anything up on the shelf like big tall bottles or anything like that that won't fit in the top little containers and then below is just a little storage so there's that so then there's just this drawer which is perfect because this is what I would consider like the makeup drawer it's only about two inches deep so it's perfect for um, palettes and little small acrylic dividers and stuff so that's perfect and it's right on top and then finally below that drawer it's gonna pull out this drawer that we just opened but it's gonna pull them out together and you can stop there and it's just like a little L desk just to add a little bit more room if you you know have a lot of makeup or I'm filming or something below that there's just this little drawer you can open it it's actually um, for hanging files I believe but I'm just gonna use that for a little bit more storage and again I didn't paint the interior of those couple drawers just because I didn't want it to be sticky or chip or anything like that and then if you pull a little bit harder it extends into this big desk that's so cool. I know. So you can have this big giant desk and the way that we ended up doing it is we put some marble contact paper here. Then we split and divided and added another section of contact paper here. That way we can have the marble around all corners of the counter. But yeah, that's our finished vanity and we're going to go to bed. But tomorrow we'll decorate it and put our chair with it and we'll show you guys what it looks like. Alrighty, are you guys ready for the big unveiling? Ma this is the finished desk. Sorry about that. That's just makeup stains. But um, this is the finished desk. It is now in my filming room. That's why there's like that light right there. So we brought it into the office slash film room. Um, so we just put like my little mirror. We put some flowers, the KKW fragrance, which is such a pretty box and kind of goes with the theme. Um, and then we have over here just a candle. And then this pretty little lady here who I've had in my beauty room for so long and then this is just my little plate of crystals just to help clear the space and then we actually ended up putting all of my makeup and everything inside so I'm not gonna do like an in-depth it's kind of like messy it's not super organized but we did do some organizing we pull out this is like the little little guy that pops out but underneath I just have jewelry and perfume and storage and stuff like that. This was our finished result. It was so much fun and I absolutely love it. I think the handles make such a big difference. Um, just, you know, I like think it's so cute. Down here on this little shelf we have like nail polishes and stuff. This is the chair that I had at my vanity before. 
And so as you can see, it's kind of clashing. It doesn't match super well. So I think we're going to end up doing a little DIY in this guy as well. So if you want to see that, make sure you comment down below. This was so much fun. I'm definitely going to do a lot more DIYs here in the future. This is kind of clashing with the vibe we have going. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. So that is it. It was extremely easy. It took about four hours total. So I mean, that is a long time, but in the grand scheme of things, it really was. And it didn't even take a full day. In fact, the paint that we ended up getting took about an hour to four hours to dry. So our first coat, we literally waited an hour. And then we did our second coat and we waited overnight and when we woke up our vanity was just ready for us to move into the video room. One thing I would recommend is that if you're gonna get paint, I would actually go to Walmart. We went to Walmart and we got a big paint can for $8. Um, so I actually had a lot of paint left over, which I'm probably gonna end up DIYing this chair right here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I think I actually might end up doing like a fur base and making it like furry with the vanity so yes so once again thank you so much for watching that's all i have for today i will catch you in the next video mm -hmm.